Hi, my loves. Welcome back to the Stars Cartel channel. If you don't know, I am Star. Happy Valentine's Day, y'all. Okay, and also, for those of you that don't know, my business is seven years old today. I'm so hype. I'm so hype. And, you know, I'm so grateful. I'm so appreciative. Thank you to every single person that, you know, um, supports me. I love you guys to bits and pieces. Um, and anywho, let's get into it. Let's get into it. Let's get into it. Because this message, honestly, I actually was led to record it yesterday. Okay. So I did a voiceover yesterday for this message and I was going to just, you know what I'm saying? Download the voiceover and post it. But for whatever reason, now that I'm dressed and I'm ready to start recording messages, God is leading me to go ahead and do that message again. So we're going to go ahead and get into it. And um, I don't know if uh, there's something that I did not state in that part of the message or if there's something else that has changed or anything like that. But I'm going to go ahead and get into it. Obviously, I haven't posted this yet, so y'all probably have no idea what I'm talking about. But I'm going to go. I stated that anyway, so it must have some relevance to it. Let's get into it. So God sent me a vision. And in his vision, um, God was showing me a person who likes to have sexual encounters in which they are able to hold something over their lover's head. So... Um, God showed me that this is not just, um, for some of you, it is a woman and for some of you, it is a man. Okay. And regardless, they are holding a Jezebel spirit. Like they have a, Je this is somebody that definitely has a Jezebel spirit within them. They are active. This is an active Jezebel spirit. This is a full blown, full rampant Jezebel spirit. That is a bonus person. Now, um, for one of the examples, uh, you know, as far as a man, God is showing me that this will be a man that is um, sleeping around with other men. And this man, either regardless if he is openly, you know, um, that way or if he is in the closet, this man likes to. OK, so he likes to force himself up on people. So, uh, this is a man that is forcing people to do that. And then on top of that, um, after he does it, he basically uses that as leverage against them to get them to give him money to, um, keep doing it with him to get them to like, allow him to do things that they don't want him to do to spend time with him or whatever. It's like, this is somebody that is forcing a relationship. Typically, whoever it is does not want to be in a relationship with this person. Like, this is a situation where this man, um, um, that this man is dealing with, <clears throat> they don't want to be in a relationship with them. They're not interested in them. This is somebody that, um, in this part of the message, this would be a man that was originally straight, that was not interested, that was forced into um, doing that. And then after doing that and after being assaulted, after being forced to do something and, you know, going through all of this emotional and physical changes that they had to deal with going through that, this person then is blackmailing them into giving them money regardless as to how. Okay, now I see what the part that God feels. So for some of these men, it's a situation where this man then after forcing them to do that, they will force them to be sexual with other people. So they will force them to have sex with other people for money and to give them the money. And it's kind of like if they don't do that, they're going to go around and tell everybody that they gay. Or they're going to go around and they're going to do this. And they're going to go around and they're going to do that. Which I'm gonna pause right here and state this about that part because I did. This is what was left out in the other video. If somebody is doing that to you, obviously, if you are going around and you are sleeping with men for money, eventually people gonna peep that. You know what I'm saying? Like, I just feel like eventually the secret is gonna be out. Like, that's something that you know what I'm saying? You, you can't, you can't hide it. Which I'm going to get into the message, you know, eventually into it. But this is something that 
it's like if you going around and you sleeping with people for money, you sleeping with men for money, you don't think that other people not going to realize that. And especially if it's somebody that is this ruthless, nine out of 10, what God is showing me, this is the kind of man that they may start out being like, it's going to be on a hush hush. It's a secret and hide here, hide there. But eventually it could get to a point to where this person is um, forcing this man to do this out in the open where they going to easily be caught and people going to easily find out. Like, you know, this is something that it's not going to, it's not going to, this is not going to remain a secret. So whoever this man is, this, for whatever reason, this man really wants to keep this a secret, regardless if they have a wife, um, they, they, um, uh, which is a big part of the message. So this man may be married and it's a situation where this man does not want his wife to know what he's going through. He doesn't want his wife to know what's going on. And I just feel like it's a part of his manhood that was stolen from him. And it's just a part of, um, he, he might already know that she's not interested in that. She's not down with that. And she's not okay with it. She's disgusted by it. And, you know, so he basically doesn't want to tell her what's going on. And it could also be a situation where this other man, this, uh, this, this guy that forced himself up on somebody, this man is telling him, well, if you don't do it, I'm going to hurt her or I'm going to do her like that. Or I'm going to do this. I'm going to do that. God is also leading me to say, um, this man, regardless to if you um, do this, you carry on doing this or not, this man is going to eventually try to do that to your wife, period. Like, I don't know if this is a situation where this man has forced himself into your home and he pretending like he your friend, or if this is a situation, which is what I'm seeing for somebody, this is a man that has forced himself into your home, pretending like he your friend, pretending like he, yeah, he needs somewhere to stay and he need this and he need help and all these things. This man is eventually like, it's, it's going to take a few times. Like, and it's him. Is why with my ex, I ain't like that. I I I, I can't stunt. You know, after a while, I, I don't like the roommate situation. I don't want to be left alone with no man. I'm not interested in building no relationship with no other man. Okay, I'm only interested in building a relationship with the person that I'm married to, and that's it. And I just feel like this is somebody that's going to try to ease their way into, you know, doing stuff to your wife and forcing your wife to do things that she don't want to do, and trying to, you know, what I'm saying, trying to uh, convince her and coerce her in some situations they already did but the thing is your wife is uh for one reason or another she is protected god is protecting her from this man this man cannot get to her the way that he got to you this man can't do what he did to uh you to her for one reason or another and it's not to say that it's not a situation where God loves her more than he loves you. It's not that kind of party. It's not that kind of situation. You may very well even be married to somebody that may have dealt with a situation like this in her past. Um, and I just feel like this is the kind of woman where she's not okay with it. She's not cool with it. And she's not going to allow it to happen. You know, I know me personally, as somebody that um, dealt with, assault when i was a little girl i dealt with assault as an adult i'm not dealing with it no more I, i'm not like you know what i'm saying i am not i am not i'm not i'm not i'm not I, I just don't have time and any sign and symptom i'm calling the cops i'm calling the police i don't care you can call me a snitch all you want so you're trying to attack me and you're trying to hurt me you're trying to put me through some kind of uh trauma that i already know is lifetime and it stays with you forever no sir and I just feel like this is the kind of situation where, for whatever reason, this man can't get to this woman. For whatever reason, this man, this woman, uh, regardless to if he's trying to convince her that she'll make a lot of money, she already make a lot of money. Regardless if he's trying to convince her she'll be happy, she already knows she will not be happy. And she knows for a fact that's not what she want to do. Um, this is not the kind of woman that's about to get hooked on no drugs. This is not the kind of woman. Like, this is somebody that... She sees that as a disgusting way of life. And it's not to say that she's going to, you know, talk down on anybody or look down on anybody that's doing it. But from her point of view and her perception, she's not doing it. And that's the end of it. And, um, yeah, so that, that is for whoever this person is, 
They have tried. This man tried. But he can't get to he can't get her to do that. She ain't interested in that. And you know what I'm saying? She does not. And you know what I'm saying? And that's that's period. You know what I'm saying? Regardless of what this person thinks they're gonna do. Um, I'm, I'm feeling like your wife got this this I will fight you energy. I will drag you energy. She is not playing with nobody. Ain't nobody about to make her do nothing. Um but yeah, back to what I was saying, you know, whatever this man is threatening to do to your wife, talk about if you don't do this and if you don't do that, they're going to do this, that, and the third. They ain't going to do that because she not going to let them. Um, Moving on. Okay. In some situations, it's a, a man that is on the DL, that is married, that has messed around with somebody that is using what their little secret as extortion. So this is a man. That is basically getting money, gifts, trinkets, whatever. Talking about if you don't give it to me, I'm going to tell your wife. If you don't give it to me, I'm going to tell this person, that person, and a third. Baby. Now, as the woman, okay? Because God said that also women doing this as well. Ooh, we. And this scandalous, okay? But there's some women um, that... So the first this example that I'm getting is a woman that is attractive. She's beautiful and the man will be attracted to her knowing that he is married, knowing that he's in a relationship and he will go and sleep with her. And in his mind, it's a one night stand. But in her mind, he got her messed up. OK, and a lot of times this is a situation where she knows the wife. She knows the wife. Either she work with the wife. She, uh, you know, what I'm saying may go to church with the wife. Ooh, scandalous. She may, uh, may maybe somebody she see out in, a, you know, out at a club or something. They may be in the same little party group or something like that. This is somebody. It could be a friend. It could be a family member. This is somebody that knows the wife very well. They know the wife. They have access to this wife. And this woman um, holds that over this man's head. And it's basically a situation where she's doing the thing. She wants money. She wants trinkets. She wants gifts. Um, interesting enough, with this part, God also was talking to me about an uh, interesting thing about this woman, as well as the men, too. And some situations with the men, too, they want time. So this is somebody that wants to feel as though they are in a relationship with the person that they are forcing to sleep with them. They want to make believe that this person loves them, that this person cares about them, and this person is truly interested in them. And in reality, you know, in this situation, at first, this person was interested in this woman. But after they got what they wanted, they're not interested no more. And, um... You know, that's why you got to be careful as a woman. You can't just be going around uh, popping your legs open for everybody that say that you pretty. You know what I'm saying? You got to see what they bought first. And I just feel like um, this is a woman that, you know what I'm saying? She has basically decided that's how she feels. She's taking her power back by if a man uh, does lay down with her, he's not going nowhere. And she's going to make sure of it because she's going to make sure that she knows somebody that knows somebody. And this is somebody that has been hurt in the past. And this is somebody that been through things in the past. And now she is trying to hurt as many people as possible. Sadly to say some of, some of these women, like I said, they want to hurt people that are close to them. And like I said, this is a situation where this woman knows this wife, regardless if she is jealous of this wife, envious, or if it's a situation where it doesn't have anything to do with the wife, which typically I don't believe that. You know what I'm saying? Because if you're going after somebody's husband, you, you got to not like them. You know what I'm saying? If you really care about somebody, that's your friend, that's your homie, your sister, cousin, sibling, whatever. You're not going to go after that man. You know what I'm saying? You wouldn't even, you know what I'm saying? That's breaking a girl code. Even if it's like, you know, an ex, you wouldn't even want to sleep with your, uh, anybody that's close to you, they ex, unless you trying to uh, compete with them. And God also spoke to me about this woman. In some instances, she does feel as though she is competing with this woman. But... I'm going to get into that too, because um, this kind of interlays with the next example. But, you know, with this situation in her mind, or even with the man in his mind, they feel as though they are competing with this wife and they are not. 
They are not. They are not. This is all fabrication of the mind. The enemy is fighting me about this message. My voice. I, I don't know if y'all can hear how my voice keep getting like it's going in and out. They are. It's like it's in their mind. This is in their mind. It's not like uh, and I. It's sad. It is very sad because in reality, you know, if somebody truly wants you and they want to be with you, you ain't going to have to force them to be with you. It's not going to be a situation where you got to blackmail them into being with you. And if you tell such and such, I'm going to tell such and such, and I'm going to tell this person, and this is going to come out, and I'm going to talk about this, and I'm going to talk about that. In a lot of these cases, these are people that are very disgusted by the people that they're sleeping with, this person that is forcing them. They don't want to be with them. They're not attracted to them. They, they, like, they over it. And even if it's a situation where it is someone that they were originally attracted to and they did originally want to sleep with that was a situation where they just wanted to sleep with them and they was done and the fact that they are carrying it on with this blackmail and um you know harassment um in some situations using physical force fighting and arguing they hate this person this is somebody that is hated by the person they sleeping with but in their mind they they love them in they mind, they in a relationship. In they mind, they got something on the wife. They have nothing on this wife because the wife did not have to force them to do nothing. The wife is not making them do nothing. The wife is, you know, that's who they want to be with. You know what I'm saying? And for some of them, you know, they know this. You know, deep down, they know this and it bothers them because in reality, they know, well, he chose her, but I got to force him. I got to convince him and I got to make him come and be with me. And, you know, in some of these cases, their feelings get hurt. Their feelings will get hurt when this man starts to fight back. And they, they want to try to use, and they have to use force. It frustrates them. It irritates them. But the Holy Spirit is saying, you know, that Jezebel's spirit is mad because this person does not want to operate the way that they are. This person does not want them. And that's just that. And, you know, somebody that's operating out of the Jezebel spirit, they think everybody want them. Just how right before Jezebel uh, fell, off that, uh, fell off the ledge there, she was trying to use, you know, she was trying to be all sexy and look all cute so that he wouldn't do nothing. He wouldn't do her nothing. Baby, ain't nobody trying to hear that. And she got mad. And this is what's going on with this person. Every time they, you know, they trying to look good and they trying to attract this person, they trying to get this person attention and they don't pay them no mind. Every time they see this person with their wife and their family and they are ignoring them every time i'm thinking about that song i'm chilling with my broad and you already know and if you want to reach me hit me on a down low if i don't call back don't put on the show when i'm asked by your house and blow instead of knocking on your door <laughs> Anyways, but that's kind of vibe. And that's how they feel. It makes them angry. It makes them upset. It makes them frustrated. It, it just ticks them off. And you know, this is somebody that in reality, mental illness is going rampant here. This is somebody that is sick in the head. They confused. Like, I don't know in what world they live in where they think that they force somebody to sleep with them and then after they force this person to sleep with them that they gonna be running after them and jumping up and happy and excited like it's somebody that is cuckoo for cocoa post crazy but anywho and the last example would be a woman that is not very much so attractive, but very much so strong, okay, and forces her way onto me that she knows the wife. And after she forces herself onto them, she, you know, once again, blackmail, I'm going to do this, I'm going to do that, they give me some money, come spend some time with me, take me on a date, take me here, do this, do that, all this stuff. And in reality, once again, mental illness, thinking that this man is attracted to her thinking that this man loves her, thinking that this man care about her. He do not, okay? Um, last but not least, um, I think I said that part already. You know, um, this is somebody that is, you know, like I said, they are competing. This is someone that wants to compete with this man's wife. This is somebody that believes that they are in a competition with this man's wife. In reality, the competition is over. That man chose the wife a long time ago or whenever they got married, That was, the competition ended. There is no competition. And, you know, in reality you are truly in a competition with somebody, then the other person knows that there is competition. You know what I'm saying? But this is a situation where this person, 
even if they are around the wife, even if they have seen the wife, they know the wife, in their mind, they are constantly thinking nasty, evil thoughts about this wife. They may be going behind her back and doing little stuff to make people not like her, talking about her, telling lies. They may be envious of her. They may be trying to be like her. They may be trying to mimic her. But in reality, she don't even know what's going on. She not in competition with them. And she is not concerned or worried about them. You know what I'm saying? I just feel like it's a situation where the wife is in, like, she doing her own thing. She not worried about what this person got going on. She is not competing with them. For sure, for sure, if it's a man. And I, I've seen that with some men with baby just, just cuckoo for Coco Puss trying to compete and you know what i'm saying and it, it, i just feel like it's a like this is a twisted and dark situation um where this person is really trying to like basically take hold and control somebody else they want to have control over somebody else i'm gonna get a scripture i don't know if it's it is not Okay, so the scripture, I was going to say, I don't know if it's the scripture. It's not. It's not the scripture from yesterday. The scripture comes from Ezekiel 7 and 15. Outside is the sword. Inside are plague and famine. Those in the country will die by the sword. Those in the city will be devoured by famine and plague. So here's the message. Here's the message. For whoever this is for. But whoever this is for, this is a situation where you are basically having to go to battle with somebody. And um, God is saying, you know, the whole purpose of the message, what I got yesterday was Proverbs 31 and 10. So, you know, the uh, we already know Proverbs 31 and 10 is the... Um, the wife, you know, the, the, the Proverbs 31 woman, the wife. Okay, so God is saying that this is some a situation where this person, what they using over, they holding it over your head. Tell on yourself. And you know, I, I'm the kind of person, me personally, ain't nobody gonna be able to hold nothing over my head. And can't nobody, you know, and this is why I know anytime anybody make up some kind of rumor about me, or they wanna go around talking about me, they wanna talk down on me, they definitely gonna have to keep it behind my back because if they try to say it to my face, I, I have I'm, I'm gonna be able to speak. I, I talks. I talks, I talks. God gave me my voice and I use my vo my voice my vocal cords. The enemy is attacking me now. I use my vocal cords. I don't mind defending myself and I don't mind telling what happened and telling it exactly the way it is. I'm going to tell the truth. Ain't nobody finna hold nothing over my head. Period. Ain't nobody finna force me into nothing either. And, you know, I'm being reminded of a situation when, um, with my husband that I'm estranged from, when I was, we hanging out. One of his friends comes over out of nowhere. For whatever reason, he leaves and goes to the restroom or he goes to the kitchen. He goes somewhere. And this friend starts trying to touch on me. And I snatched myself back. And I went and I told him what happened. And, you know, the guy's like, well, I didn't do that. I didn't do that. I didn't do that. You can say that all day long. You can say that all day long. You can try to say you didn't do that. You can say this, that, and the third. You're not finna hold nothing over my head and try to act like, no, I'm not interested. And I just feel like even if, you know, this person want to try to throw it on me and say that they didn't do that and I'm just being mean and I'm just picking on them and they would never do anything like that. They didn't intend it like that. They didn't mean no disrespect and dot, dot, dot. I ain't trying to hear that. For whoever this is for, God say, you need to go open your mouth and talk, okay? Open your mouth and talk. Why are you allowing somebody to control your life? Tell your wife what's going on. You better tell your wife what you better speak. And here's what's going to happen if you don't speak. Outside is the sword. Inside are plague and famine. God say, if you don't open your mouth, and speak about what you are going through and speak about what this person is doing to you, you are going to constantly have to deal with fighting. Outside is the sword. It's not only going to get worse in reality, like regardless to which situation you're in, but especially if you're in a situation where somebody is trying to pimp you out, that is only going to get worse. And on top of that, inside are plague and famine. Don't think you're the only person this person is doing this to. God say you're going to catch something. Doing, running around like this and you may very well give it to your wife 
because it also says the fugitives who escape will flee to the mountains like doves of the valleys. They will all moan, each for their own sins. Every hand will go limp. Every leg will be wet with urine. God is saying, like, you got to stop this here. And in some situations, it could gravitate, like I said, somebody that might try to come after your wife. Somebody that might try to, you know what I'm saying? And, and all it's going to take is you leaving your wife alone. Especially if you leaving your wife alone with them, thinking in your head that they ain't going to do them nothing. Thinking in your head that it's okay. Or even if it's to such an extent that you're scared of this person and you're going to do what they say regardless. Like, I just feel like God is saying you need to get your power back, okay? Whoever this is, this is meant to be a pep talk for you, sir. You need to get your power back and you need to stop. You are a man, a man, a grown, this for a grown man. You are a man, okay? You are a man. And you are supposed to be the head of your household, the king of your castle. And you need to stop letting whoever this person is punk you, regardless if it's a man or a woman, period. And you know what I'm saying? The, the truth may not be pretty all the time, but I'm going to speak the truth, period. And you know what I'm saying? I just feel like for whoever this is for, that's the message. You need to stop letting this person punk you. You need to go ahead and tell your wife what happened. Okay, if they force themselves upon you, let her know what happened, regardless of who it is. And one big thing about it is your wife is going to have a plan together that you wouldn't have even thought of. But the problem is you refuse to go and talk to your wife, regardless if it's because you're ashamed, you think she's going to leave you, you think that this is that and the third. Like, I I'm going to be real and say that the way that a woman's intuition works, she probably already know that something's going on. And I know me personally, as a wife, I would prefer for my husband to come to me and tell me what's up so we can fix it. Then for my husband to act like ain't nothing going on and it's to just drag on like I know something is wrong. Eventually, she is either going to leave you, she's going to find out, or she's going to find out and leave you. And that's period. And you're going to carry on with this person. This person is going to carry on harassing you. This person is going to carry on stalking you. This person is going to carry on blackmailing you. God say, at this point in time, when you hear this message, when you receive this message, choose now which God you will serve. God is directing you. And God's direction is tell your wife what's going on with this person. Tell her everything. And then y'all come up with a plan to get out of it. And even guess what? Even if y'all don't come up with a plan to get out of it, you have just set yourself free because she already knows what's going on. She knows now. You told on yourself now. If it's a situation like this, uh, the first situation where this person then forced you into sleeping with them and now they forcing you to go around and sleep with other people and bring them back money, go to the police. Hello? Well, like, don't be ashamed. Don't be embarrassed. I, I like, why would you prefer to live your life with shackles on your ankles than to go to the police and tell them what's going on with you? Why would you prefer to allow this person to use you like that and abuse you like that? This is somebody that's going through a very dark period. This is a man that's going through a very dark period. You are very broken inside. You are hurt and like you are being used. Physically, emotionally, mentally, God said, get out of there. Get out of there. Now, if you hear this message and you refuse to set yourself free, you've chosen, you have decided that that's what you want to do. And that's what you might as well say. That, and you know what I'm saying? Then it's ain't for you. If you like this person, if you, you okay with this person, you okay with having such and such as a mistress, are you okay with messing around with such and such? You like him and he's, he's nice from time to time. He may bop you upside the head every now and again, but he's nice from time to time. And y'all happy now you got Stockholm syndrome. That's your business. But let me tell you something, uh, for whoever this is for that has been praying to God about, they want a way out and they got to get out of this and they don't want to be in this situation no more. They tired of this man doing them this way and they tired of this woman doing this here in the third god said you need to get yourself out of it you have the power like you have the power whoever it is they threatening to tell such and such i'm gonna tell i'm gonna tell i'm gonna tell god said go to that person and tell them yourself set yourself free like come on now you this is inevitable
If you going around sleeping with a bunch of people, you think ain't nobody going to find out? Come on now. You can't make this up now. They're going to find out. You know what I'm saying? They're going to find out. Regardless of how they find out, regardless of if it's through gossip or if it's just simply through the way that you'll start acting. Because people that got that going on, they will start acting different. They will start liking different things. They will start behaving differently. And, you know, I just feel like God is saying, you, you know, you, you are welcoming a spirit into you every time you agree to do this here. And you don't have to agree to do it. And, you know, a lot of, sometimes men can be stubborn. Sometimes men can be hard-headed. Sometimes men can be headstrong. God said, you go and you tell your wife what's going on and you tell your wife what this man been doing or this woman been doing and set yourself free. Your wife will come together with you and y'all will be able to unlock freedom. Okay, regardless of how it's going to happen. And you know what I'm saying? Like, and that's the message. You know, that's the message. Even if you do, you know, you got to file a police, file a police report then. File a police report. Like, say, say what happened. Tell the truth and shame the devil. God is saying, set yourself free from that mess. <sighs> if you do not, if you do not, if you do not. I'm looking down here at 7 and 22. I will turn my face away from the people and the robbers will desecrate the place I treasure. They will enter it and defile it. God said this person will constantly continue to defile you. If you don't go ahead and set yourself, you got to set yourself free. You got to set yourself free. You got to set yourself free. You can't allow this person to keep on treating you like this. You can't allow this person to keep on having this, hanging this cloud, this dark cloud over your head. And that's the message. Thank you guys for watching. Be sure to like, share, and subscribe. Deuces.